Hello everyone. I am here with the first video for the August month of creativity journaling. I printed my August updated version for the journal. My printer ran out of black ink so everything that is written in the journal in black ink is not here so I will be writing it in with a um, black marker. So in this video I'm just going to show you how I set up my journal and also some of the materials that I use. I also want to show you the previous journals that I have made so you can kind of get an idea. So let me get those. You will find the updated file which you can download on my Ko-fi page and before I show you the journals I want to just tell you how I usually print it out. Um, they, the size of the paper, the size of the file is uh, fine to be printed on a regular piece of paper but I usually print it in a booklet form so in my computer I just go to the options for printing and I select booklet and the way that it prints um, it kind of prints like some of the pages at the end so that it's in order when I fold it and I really like this size so um, that's why I usually print it as a small booklet so um, let's see I started using this booklet that I made I made it back in December and I started using it in January and I've always had a lot of printer problems so for most of the year my printer was not printing in color and as you will see in the in the document it actually has a lot of really beautiful teal and magenta and pink and purple colors so this is a new way of journaling for me when I started because I usually just journal um, in writing so I, I never add color um, I never add stickers but I wanted to try this new way of journaling so I made myself the journal the little workbook handout and then I started um, just adding color doodling um, putting stamps um, stickers adding some different things that maybe I got throughout the year I mean the month like paper or sometimes I get cards from people so these are examples of the previous months that I've made every month it looks different um, I know there's a month um, see there's an example of a card that I got um, there was one month I think it might be this month where I, I made a pocket to keep different things that I accumulated during the month I haven't made a pocket each month but maybe I'll make a pocket for August so this is just kind of an overview of the different things some months are thicker than others um, for example that was April and in May I didn't have too many things sometimes I will add handouts from other workbooks that I've purchased um, I, I purchased the right brain planner and I know I printed several of their pages um, some of the months and I included them and this is my um, journal my last journal from July so um, yeah so I just wanted to give you kind of an overview of what my journals have looked like and now we can start setting up the one for this month and since I haven't memorized everything that's in the journal I'm going to open it up here in my tablet and so here the very first thing that it says I usually put in the date Oh, and you know I forgot to talk about my materials so I'll do that next so your journal will have that part of the writing um, because mine as I mentioned my printer didn't print in black and white so I usually have a lot of markers um, I really like 
these crayons that have uh, multiple different types of crayons, crayon colors in them. I really like them for drawing um, spirals just because of how the color changes. So I use these a lot. Um, I really like these Crayola Pipsqueak markers because they're so tiny and my hands are tiny as well. So I use those. Um, I use different color pens as well. Um, sometimes I do pencil and then I'll, I'll do marker. Um, I don't have a lot of washi tape. I know some people have really large collections of washi tape. I only have these two. Um, these are this one's actually my kids and it was a gift from one of my friends for them so this is the first washi tape set i've purchased and i don't want to go too crazy with purchasing too many so i've been using this one um, i also have some stickers that i have uh, received as gifts so i will usually add stickers here and there and then i do have um, a sticker book that my husband bought me a few months ago and I've been using that as well. I just pick whatever cute sticker feels um, like it should be added. Like I really like this llama so I'm gonna add her here to the front page. You don't need to have um, too many things to get started and then um, so I'm just setting it up. It's not going to look finished because the fun part about the journal is that every day you can add different things to it. Um, but at the beginning, I just kind of do the, the basic, just adding some color and some stickers here and there. All right, so I have that part done. Um, See, a lot of things should have been here, but since my printer decided to act up. So this is the page where I usually write a letter to myself. And I'm not going to write it in the video, but that's where I will write it later today. And then here, I know I usually have the full moon, the new moon. Um, and um, so I usually have the month, the year, the new moon, and the full moon dates and signs. And I also have so this is the space where you can write your intentions for the month. Um, here there's a spot for important astrological transits. So last month I started keeping track of something called the Sirius Gateway. And there's a Lion's Gateway coming up on August 8th. So I'm just going to make a note for myself. Lion's Gate. So the month is August. The year is 2021. The new moon will be on uh, August 8th and it will be, the new moon will be on August 8th and it will be in Leo and the full moon will be August 22nd and it will be in Sag um, Aquarius. So I haven't thought of what my intentions will be, so I will come back to that. But sometimes I just like to add um, just lines of color to begin feeling like I can write in the in the journal. Where, where's the beginning at? Here we go. So I usually also just pick a sticker that I want to add it at the back. So I'll do that. Okay. 
I kind of like this one that says have fun and chase rainbows since August is almost the last it's the last month of summer so we have to chase all the rainbows we can Let me see why I like these crayons that have the different colors. So a lot of it is just um, mark making <clears throat> and just putting different stickers that you might want to use. I'm not a great, um, I'm not so great at drawing, but there's different things that I know I like to draw, like spirals and um, flowers. Um, this was one that I used a stamp and then I just colored it in. Um, I think um, as you start, you might not feel super comfortable drawing, but just know that there's no perfect way of doing this. It's just for fun. So here in this page that's titled Commune with the Muse, um, there's a few different things that I usually keep track of. Uh, one of them is my crystal allies. And I'm making some typos, but it's okay. My plant allies. Sometimes these are plants or crystals that I have been working with uh, for a few months and other times there's different plants that I um, learn about later and I'll just add them. My personal library of symbols and there's a note here about looking around you and noticing what you see. So I think what I want to do is finish putting in the, the text that's missing. So this is the weekly check-in. And there's three questions here. So today is August 1st and we are going all the way to August 8th. So I went ahead and wrote the three questions for the weekly check-in. There's four um, pages for that, for one for each week of the month. So I will be adding them in there. And then I, for this version, I also gave extra journaling space in case we want to write anything else. But I will go back and add some more stickers. This one that says love your selfie might be better here in my self-portrait page. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there will be a week where I'll be on vacation, so I'm gonna get this sticker 
that says vacay all day and put it in that week. I think it's this week. Let's see where there's stickers. Just am writing in some of the missing prompts. This is the phenology wheel for the moon cycle. And I usually divide the wheel in four and it ends up looking something like this. Um, you are welcome to track some something out in nature for every face. I have actually been feeling like tracking just how I'm feeling inside. So that's what I've been doing there. This is the page. I added a, a bigger page for no ideas. And then... I have this box where we are invited to write down old observations but for me it's actually usually been a list of things I've spent money on or purchased um, but I was also thinking that a new page I would like to add is a uh, list a uh, page where we can keep track of questions this is also a new page this is where i will be adding different things i'm reading or watching or listening to or um, experiencing so i chose to put this title off to the side instead of attaching it to one of the shapes because then you have some freedom of where you want to um, keep each category so then there's the end of the month reflection and then some space for you to do a creative interpretation so what this can look like is just it can be doodling um, in July I was doing the inner child getting to know my inner child exploration through my mighty networks community so my end of the year or end of the month creative interpretation was actually this inner child landscape and also for my self-portrait in July instead of um, sharing a selfie of me I shared a picture of when I was a child and my inner child um, portrait um, I did want to show you a different inner um, creative interpretation for the end of the month that was really important to me. Let's see, when did it happen? Exploring um, the heart integration. And I made this collage that gave me an idea for an offering I wanted to share with the community about um, finding different pieces of ourselves that can be integrated in our heart. And I created a visualization and I was actually able to share it in the Moon uh, the Moon is My Calendar community with April McMurtry through one of her Venus festivals. So that was really fun. But this is how that idea was born. So that's a suggestion for how you can use this page. And I will probably just keep adding stickers throughout the month I'm gonna finish filling in some of the black um, text that I that didn't print and then I will go back and write in my intentions here and I'll write a letter to myself I just didn't think anyone wanted to see that but this is um, in short how you can set it up use washi tape um, feel free to add a lot of color stickers random pieces of paper that you have. Um, I'm gonna be adding some of this recycled paper that I have from a list that I um, no longer needed. 
and feel free to add pockets um, write a lot um, collect quotes on it um, if there's messages that come to you throughout the throughout the month you can add them there you can add additional pieces of paper I also collect a lot of uh, paper from like junk mail so you can also um, use that and then the back side is just like a um, as I was saying the back is just like the back cover I usually just doodle in um, on that page I mean um, yeah so I hope that gives you at least a few ideas for how you can decorate your journal and I will try to I'm gonna try to decorate a little more and see if I can speed up the video so that you don't have to um, it's not like in real time Okay, so I just went ahead and added a few stickers here and there. But every day that I come to write something in the journal, I usually also spend some time just doodling and coloring and adding more stickers or doing some more mark making. Um, this is an example of something I got from the Right Brain Planner. They're also here on Kofi. Um, so if you if you are interested in learning more about them. Um, you can feel free to to um, check them out so this is what it looks like at the end but at the beginning especially like the first day of the month it's not it doesn't have everything that I will add on it so that's why it looks kind of bare but I will be sharing progress videos throughout the week so that you can follow along and if you want if you follow me on Instagram I will love to see how your journal is going you can um, tag me or or share it and i can um i would love to just take a look if you are participating and you're using the handout that i shared so thank you so much for tuning in